Right, so. Our next attempt. We've got Butch Richardson. Here. And we've got a bit of a different take on, on this build this time. So instead of a long shotgun and then a Lamat pair, Butch here is using a Mosin Nagant sniper rifle as well as then the Lamat pair that will act as mid range with the pistol rounds or if we get up close basically act as a double barrel and be very nasty at assaulting buildings. So he's got a nice mix of everything, we've got some traps. I am as well going to purchase, he's got three perk points to spend on him. So I'm going to get steady aim, that should help me with sniping people. Um, and that looks about that with him. We'll get into a lobby. We want to keep him at arm's length with this. We've got another person with rifles and one guy spec to take on buildings. One's leveled up, the other is not. But at least they're being... Oh, it's Mech Wizard. It's the guy who killed me. It's the guy who killed me from last time. <laughs> well, there's a turn of events. Hunt, always an interesting game. Hey, do we play less much together? Trying to tie it fast. <coughs> Very odd. I've been in games with mech now four times in a row. Oh, press that to early. There we go. A bit eager. Right. Probably I just head down to oh, got an event in there. Probably head to Ash Creek here. And we're approaching from a good angle here. We can kinda of set up in this uh, tree line and just overlook the entire place practically. Which is great when you have a big old sniper rifle. Are they alright? They are not. Now, keeping in mind that it's uh, 600 to level at this rank, that means that even a player kill won't get me a level. But if I managed to kill, we'd have to probably, and you, you do get points, uh, all points are shared at the end, so 
even if they get player kills, it'll be fine. But we need to probably get five or six kills, really, preferably, and then we probably want to, with five or six kill them, kills under our belts, get a bounty token as well. That should get enough levels. So, either kill a couple of teams or kill a full team but maybe they revive once or twice and we still win. Or failing all of that, just kill a lot of zombies on the way around places. Gunshots from that direction, so possibly Moses Poultry. Hmm, I assume they're pinging the dogs there. Could be Weeping Stone, it doesn't sound too far. Gunshots from First Testimonial Church. Bounty is close. Scrap beak, no one in there. I found some crows though. <laughs> Typical, you turn out here and there's just crows there. Very nasty. Even later, and an armored. Right. Will those cause me sound of thoughts in my Still white. Uh, no, it was the last one we had the dynamite stick on, wasn't it? Yes, last character. Oh, wow. They'll probably be able to finish that off. It wouldn't surprise me if I kill it while I'm reloading, but... Oh, 
might be having some issues actually. Right. We'll swap to the shotgun rounds, try and finish him with those. There we go. That way, because I'll get ammo back for every ammo type. So, when I next use uh, ammo restocks, I might as well use different rounds so I don't exhaust all of my pistol ammo and nothing else. Yeah, there we go. 18 pistol rounds now. So, last game, we were. Oh, no, it was the game before last, so two episodes ago, we were again scrap beacon, we killed him with explosives. This time we haven't, and as you can see, he's dropped loads of ammo boxes, so you can imagine being in here, um, in the boss layer, trying to defend, having a bunch of ammo boxes. And this barbed wire, whilst it can be useful for defending, you don't want it to be obstructing your movement. It's not bad if it's like on the doors and things. But just in like the areas in, around. Like it being here, not great. If it had been that it thrown it at us and it went out this way, that would have probably been fantastic. Step in the traps, or you will die. It's not even like a, oh, you might die. It's like no, you, you you will. We can also underneath the trip wires. You have to do it in a certain order. You have to put the trip wires down, then the bear trap. But that will absolutely kill someone. No joke. Okay, got one there. The good news is the other one, I just noticed. Uh, and I'll take my uh, take my vaccine now, just in case. Don't want to get poisoned by my own traps. Right. Uh, oh, did I ping that? I don't think I pinged that. Right, uh, pinged it, so they know. I have to go around for this one. But with the other bounty going first... The other bounty has gone first. We have a bunch of pretty decent close range weapons, these are mats especially. There is gunfire nearby. I think we are going to be attacked. Yeah, that's fairly close. Ooh! step in it. Yeah, just them there. That way. The thing is down this way. We could make a break. It's probably more sensible really to Probably more sensible, really. To defend in there than it is to attack out here. But I think mechs wanting to make a break for it, which isn't completely unreasonable. It sounds like they're fighting. You might not be able to see it because they may be at the edge of the 
radius for the dark sight boost. But that gunshot sound, those gunshot sounds suggest that they're in a fight right now. Like I said, the others might be just out of range. Pick up a few event points. Not many of this game of us. We've only got ten there on the side. But it is near the end of the event. I only need, I think, less than a hundred or so now. I'm close. You never know. Maybe they'll enter the maybe they'll run in, trip the trip Y mines, kill themselves and I'll get an extra point. Who knows? <laughs> I doubt it, but Looks like we might get away with this. Really? <laughs> Shot that dog square in the head and it didn't pop on anything. the bullet of how it makes like a special reload where you catch the bullet. <laughs> and there we have it. Successful extraction. Didn't get into any PvP fights, but oh well. Unfortunately that might mean, dare I say it, we might not be level 50. There's every chance. Now you get a bonus for having a clean extraction, so, you know, we'll have a bonus because we found the clues, got to the boss layer, killed the boss, banished the boss, left with the bounty. You know, that's, uh, so we've got a clean sweep bonus there. As opposed to stealing it off of someone or only finding some of the clues or whatever. So that should give me a bonus. But, it's whether or not that's enough. It's 600 XP to level at this point. And we didn't kill any big zombies on the way. I didn't go out of my way to kill, say, like a meathead or some, a bunch of armoreds and immolators. We did get some, but not many. Yeah. 400,000 XP, I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm gonna just miss out. Ooh. We are so close. And yeah, there's a. Yeah, clean sweep bonus. We get an extra 25 bounty for that, as I mentioned. The. Teams, yeah, hmm. I think.
think they might have all been fighting each other back there. Um, bonus bounty for the quick extraction, but... Mm, what might be a good idea... Might be a good idea... Dare I say this? Right. We'll finish him off. Um... I'll take a full antidote shot as well, just to try and get him over the line here. Right. We need two lots of 600. Right. Um, instead of a chaos bomb, which are rather useless, we'll take some dynamite. In fact, I'll go one further. I'll take a sticky bomb. I want to make absolutely certain that we kill a bunch of stuff here and then just leave. We'll go in, get a few kills, level him up, and we should, right, we should, fingers crossed, get the level. Right. I'm, I'm going to allow teams of three because when it's teams of three the thing that I like about it is that there's when you're doing stuff like this there's fewer teams there's as many people and if one of those teams finds it you're screwed but whilst there are more people there are fewer teams because there's still only a 12 player limit on the lobbies if you happen to yeah, if you just wait wait a little bit at the start, make sure that there's no one on you immediately. Try and avoid getting into any scraps. Move around the map slowly and cautiously. I'll be honest, whenever I've been in a solo game, usually I can avoid pretty much any unwanted fight. I rarely get ambushed. One thing you find as well with trios is they are way more willing to make noise in order to... They're basically willing to sacrifice their position more often to gain more speed over their opponents. People are far more ballsy when there's only uh, when there's teams of three and only a limited number of teams. They play far more aggressively, which means as a solo, if you're trying to avoid conflict, to just snag a few points and leave, or if you're just going in to get some loot or event points or whatever it is, you know, snag that one extra point to get that upgrade for your character that you want to get before you go into another proper fight, you know, you can usually avoid people as a solo when you're against trios much better than you can if you go in a lobby where there's a mixture of duos and solos. Far more teams, way more people, way, well, the same amount of people of people but in far more teams that are separated more and spread out across the map you're way more likely to bump into people we need two ranks if I blow up a meathead and maybe just get a couple hive kills or armored kills or something we can nip this in the bud right here right now there isn't usually teams spawn with you here. Oh, and there's an extraction right there. Christ. But while there aren't many teams that spawn with you here, sometimes another team can spawn over that way there. In that clearing, sometimes. If I bring the map up, and it's usually around here that there's another spawn around this area. So I'm just going to be wary for a second that there could be another team down there. Looks fine to me. kill the zombie as well. That's a few XP closer. <laughs> Hive there. You 
can see it. Right. Let's get our big anti antidote shot down. A perfect world. I bump into a meathead. Blow him to high hell. Or maybe there's two meatheads here. We blow blast him to high hell. Grab the bounty. And go. Ah, I missed that hit, but it's fine, it's fine. Still good. I'm making more noise here than I would like to. I don't see any more things that are worth killing here. Try and avoid those. Now, another thing that's important to note. So, when we get a clue, so I'd have to move up to the north of the map here. This is open ground through a swamp, and there's a sniper tower up this way, and there's another couple of good sniper positions here that cover that. And as you get to the other side, they can hit you from the pitching crematorium. So, we probably want to swap to the bounties on the other monster now. Try and get the clues for that. The good news is that as we discover these clues, it greys out areas of the map and you can't get clues from that area anymore because it's basically your character knows well the monster isn't down there. Ooh, I want the points, but I don't want to anger the dogs. Let's just slowly edge away. But it greys out areas of the map, it's the same for everyone. Is the important thing to remember, which means everyone who's got that clue now will have that greyed off on their map. Meaning that most people will not come down here. I'm the only one who spawned here. Everyone else who got clues for that monster will know that they don't need to come down here. So there shouldn't be too many in this area at this point. I'll be honest, when I first saw this thing, I think this guy then for a second, I thought it was another guy in a bush ready to whack me. Every kill helps. Though the regular zombies don't count for much. Don't see any movement over that side or that way. Irregular zombies. Ooh. Some event points for three of her. Set him off. Bloodline XP. Little bit unfortunate. You can find um, some things on the walls. There's Bloodline XP. Hunter XP, which would be absolutely amazing. If we found Hunter XP, we could basically leave now. Um, and then, of course, there's... A, you can just literally find skill points. Um, it's unfortunate that was Bloodline XP. No, there's still... Oh, no. This one's taken, isn't it? I guess this was part of the uh, other one. 
There's a hive out there, but I'm not going to bother. Okay. Armoured's are worth a fair bit of XP. So that should absolutely take power to here. He's a big target for us to get. Uses a lot of his stamina, but worth it. Still don't see people. Really, I need to listen out for any gunshots I hear. It'll give me a clue to the whereabouts of the other teams. But again, there shouldn't be anyone at this area of the map since this got greyed out immediately. I would say the likelihood of there being people here. Well, it's low. Let's put it that way. Um, there were gunshots over there, somewhere that way maybe. Maybe up in uh, Blanchett, perhaps. I can see an event totem thing there. But I'm a bit wary about exposing myself to this compound, but it is only briefly. <laughs> be wary of particularly that building when you're moving around here. Right, the the dogs there are still, you can still just about make out the noise. We want to set those crows off. But yeah, those dogs are alive, those crows are still there. There's an immolator that I don't think many people will be able to make their way around without setting off. So I tend to think this area is probably unspoiled here. Inside. Right, that door's bad. Don't hear. Ow. I'm gonna say I don't hear the noise of a clue makes when it's there's people nearby, so right. Yeah, this area's gone straight off. So one of those three locations is the butcher. Now this means we're now moving into areas where there definitely is a risk that there's going to be people there. Up till now, I think this has been rather low risk, but is that fun to XP 1000? We might be able to make it out with just that. I think that's it. With an armoured, I definitely think that's it. Okay. That's some good intel, that. Let's try and... An immolator's worth a decent bit. Come on. Oh. One. Two. Three. Four. It takes a few extra when you're out of stamina. If that first one would have hit, would have had an easier time of that, but unfortunately not. Uh, 
Got a flash bomb. Not real to write home about. Um, well, there's a med kit here. We'll move back through the areas we came through. I'm not too fussed about the noise now. We're pretty certain there's no one here. If we move back through areas we've been through already and do so quickly, we may be able to get out of this completely and utterly unscathed. Make out like bandits. But yeah, I think it's more sensible to do this than to uh, run the risk of throwing at the last... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck me, what was that? Jesus Christ! There's a trio just randomly there. <laughs> Christ almighty. What's he doing? Is it just... They saw me and shat themselves. And hidden... They think there's others. They do, they think that there's other people there. What are they doing here? Christ. That's the thing we hunt, you never know. You never sodding know. So the person at the bounty is a solo. They're looting my corpse now. I hope they all die. Let's see if they do. We've got... Yeah. Is it just them? Just them and one other solo who it looks like has either killed another solo there or maybe even eliminated an entire team by themselves somehow. And of course, they were all just hiding in bushes, waiting for me. I don't even know what they were doing there. Like, I'm, I'm trying to think why they would be there. And there's no logical reason. Unless they're just running around the map looting things. I'm curious to see as if they actually go for the bounty now. Because when you see people running around looting, it's usually solos. Again, behaviour that I'd expect from solos, that, not a trio. It's a bit cowardly for trios, that. They're normally running around guns blazing. And again, all of these areas have been, assuming they've been picking up clues, which they should have been, all of these areas will have been blanked out on the map, and they know that there's someone up there. I would have fully been expecting them to be beelining toward that via healing waters. There's no reason why they should have been down here. Absolutely none. They're not even they're, they're not even contesting. Yeah, actually it shows their map. They know there's no one down here. They know it. There's literally no one down here and they know it. So they're all just looters. It's a trio of looters that aren't going around for kills or I can't complain. It's worked out for them. Yeah, they've literally not been bringing... Oh my god, they've like barely even brought guns. Yeah, it's just a trio of looters. And everyone else in the game's dead now. They're going to make out like absolute bandits. Oh, what a disappointing end. I'm going to have to have a look at the teams on that. I'm wondering if they're the only trio in that game. And there's no one to contest. 
and if all the other solos have gone into that butcher's uh, layer and died. Hmm. Right, let's get an explanation. Yep. It's not put anyone in to contest them. So all that gunfire was... It looks like... So they were next to a corpse. So there's definitely one person... And this uh, Fimunja, who went into the Butcher's boss layer, one came out. The gunfire earlier was probably them killing another one of the solos. I think that's that's been a nasty match, mate, that has put one group of trios and then everyone else's sing as solos in there, which is a bit harsh. Usually when you do this, you'll get maybe two, uh, two or three trios and then everyone else a solo or it might throw a duo in doesn't normally do this maybe because it's late that it's struggling to find people but unfortunately that's another one crossed off the list we've only got a few more attempts on this and that should have been a third one there a bit unfortunate but that's the way it goes thank you very much for watching um, next next game it looks like we've got Tristan Fournier who's a little bit close to, uh, closer to uh, 50 so, put it this way, if he got the exact same amount of XP as uh, Butch just did, he would hit 50. Because he's two levels higher than Butch was. So, hopefully that will be the case. One good game where I just get a single kill will do it. So, we've got four more attempts. We need to be successful with three to get the five A's hand. Uh, and then we're going to be trying to level people up again uh, to replace them. But we've got every chance still there. A couple of good games and we will get it. We don't even necessarily have to get the boss. If we just get a few player kills and kill a few uh, tough monsters, we should get it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. A bit of a tragic end there, but I'll see you in the next one.